This is the Lancaster leak. This is an analog horror. I haven't played any of these, but I uh, saw this in my in my queue on on Steam the other day, and I was like, "This looks interesting. I want to check it out." So that's what we're gonna do. As you saw before, uh, it says uh, it'll use like your real name and your webcam. Uh, I unfortunately have opted out of that. Um, just for you know reasons <laughs> but uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get this going we're getting the feeling that you aren't taking this seriously but what if i am no acknowledgement no acknowledgement of missing valerie or the tapes we are leaking This time we decided to reveal something a little bit closer to home. An old screen recording of one of your training protocols. If she isn't released, maybe the next leak will show how useless your training is. Does the agent body cam footage ring a bell? It does. Wait. We did just play. Fractured Mind. ERD. Entity Research Department. Login user. Vac. Password. Um. One, two, three. Acquired a learning modules and practice quiz. Zero of six completion. So we're we're taking an exam, I guess, and we're uh, we're practicing. We're doing our practice SATs here. So we have face detection, situation training, doppelganger detection, image recognition, audio transcription, entity 101. I don't know if we have to do this in any sort of order, but um, I guess we'll just start with face detection and go on from there. Throughout ERD research, there has been one constant. What is that constant? Entities who possess human characteristics are the most violent, deceptive, and are the greatest threat to public security. Are they? It is imperative that agents have the skills to not only detect potential threats, but fast. Oh, we gotta be quick with it. BRD has found the one-year agent fatality rate goes down from 34.7 per 100 to 26.2 per 100 after taking this module and being proficient in this skill. So I guess we gotta be proficient here to reduce Using our chances of dying. Click on the face in the image in the allotted time. Distractions may be employed. Oh no, we gotta stay focused. Begin. <laughs> Hey yo, that looked sick. We're good at clicking heads. I think that was a head. <laughs> Man, is anyone else sweating? Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. You motherfucker. Nineteen of nineteen we passed. I'm quick with it. Quick with it. <laughs> that was cringy, I know. Alright, we've completed face detection. That was pretty pretty easy. Alright, up next we got situation training. 
Yes, sir, I think I'm just gonna go in order like that. has been created to address and rectify observed deviations from established protocols, reaffirming the essential principles that all ERD agents are expected to adhere to consistently. Okay. Lesson one, cert. Cert. We gotta get our certs, our certifications. Cert stands for calmly collect evidence, eliminate threats, run away, and terminate self. Given an interaction oh. with an entity, these are the order Terminate of actions self. the agent will take during escalation. First, of course, is data collection, as research remains the top priority of ERD. Second, eliminate the threat, unless such entity is on the preservation list. A dead entity can be studied, a dead agent cannot. If fighting back is futile, agents should run. If running is futile, agents should terminate themselves. Let us look at an example oh boy. where an agent didn't follow the principles of CERT. In Look 1989, at work. Agent Redacted was collecting data on Entity 59 Skinwalker. Suddenly cornered, Agent Redacted fired all 12 shots of his service pistol into Entity. With no bullets left, Redacted was subjected to Entity 59 s ref. Remember to search, remember to keep an extra round. Always stay loaded. This video is another example. Think, following the values of search, what would you do? What would I do? Um... I would already run. already be running bro yeah we we get the fuck out of there lesson two do's and don'ts improvements we need in the RD. the do's and don'ts to interact with entities, if new data can be collected, don't risk losing obtained data by interacting too much. To help co-workers gather data, don't become friends with co-workers. Mm, true. Never to become friends with co-workers. Co leak data. Don't hesitate. Explain later. <laughs> we can cap a motherfucker Lessons leaking data. Protocol. Deviation from mission protocol endangers yourself, co-workers, and data collection. Assisting civilians is strictly forbidden, unless stated otherwise in mission protocol. Reminder, the punishment for deviation is termination. The punishment for deviation is termination. In 1990, Agent Redacted was on a mission studying an entity. The entity was located at Agent Redacted's house. Agent Redacted tried and successfully saved his wife. Agent Redacted didn't follow protocol and both him and his wife were terminated. Tapped. Not a fucking chance. This concludes the refresher. We will not remind about these topics again. See your supervisor if you have questions. Uh, can you, can you go through that one more time for me? A Just multiple once more. question quiz about oh, these no. topics will now commence. Oh no. Begin. An entity has killed your partner but is no longer exhibiting hostile behavior. What should you do? Um. I mean, I would say run away. Is a perfect okay that was my second option all right hold on after a mission an entity unknowingly followed you home you've tried to shoot the entity but your efforts are futile you're cornered in your room what should you do uh, terminate self give yourself a painless jesus christ <laughs> 
You're carrying newly discovered data about an entity. You hear your partner upstairs cry for help. You know you could probably neutralize the threat attacking your partner. What should you do? In self-preservation, but... We have data. We don't want to be too greedy. We run away. You have a do a no. You have a do no interfere order on a mission studying an entity. The entity is killing civilians, one of one of which is your friend. You've been given a weapon strong enough to neutralize the entity. What should you do? Record your friend's death for data. It's the logical thing to do. <laughs> you overhear your supervisor talking about a plan to leak data from ERD. You're worried uh, that you will be in trouble for solving the issue. What should you do? Uh, do nothing. They probably know something you don't. Terminate your boss. Record the conversation and report your boss. Ask your boss to explain it. Terminate him. Do not hesitate. We do not hesitate, bitch. We passed. I should have got five out of five there. I should have done it. It was just that one. I second guessed myself. All right. Next, we got doppelganger detection. Due to its emergence as one of the most common and dangerous entities, special training on doppelganger detection. Dude, doppelgangers are terrifying. This is a terrifying thought. Originally thought to be its own entity type, the doppelganger is rather a class of entities who visually and audibly mimic humans. They're little human mimics. Doppelgangers can be detected from their abnormal features. The most common attributes to look for are loose skin, missing features, and incorrect features. Further classification of the Peldangers can be made by observing the abnormal features. For example, skinwalkers always have loose skin. However, identification is covered in a different module. Skinwalkers always have a loose skin. Using your cursor, click on the doppelganger amongst the humans. Oh no. Begin. Hopefully this isn't timed. Oh no. Oh, it is timed. No one's missing the eyeballs. Yeah. Yep. And that's very loose skin. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. There's no teeth. Go ahead and say that one. That one's easy. Ooh, you a creepy looking motherfucker. Oh no. Some of these are really difficult. Shit. The glasses threw me off. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. We missed one. Shit. Still passing, though. We still got an A minus. All right. Next on our list is image recognition. what this could be. His training module is to practice quick reaction skills on determining if something is a friend. A friend or an enemy? Or a foe. A friend or a foe. Answer in the allotted time, else it will be marked incorrect. Oh no, another reaction based one. 
see it if friend why friend shaped um no thread hot thread hell no no thread nope I wouldn't go in there just say threat. Uh oh, we're not doing too hot on this one, Chief. No threat. It's just a nice little forest. Definitely a threat. No threat. Definitely a threat. Brother, you got some fucking balls. Okay, I guess I, I guess I see what it mean, means. There's not a threat in the photo. Nothing there. Nope. Definitely something there. <laughs> Definitely something there, too. And there. These are fast as hell. Definitely a threat. Oh, dude, my fucking anxiety right now. It's being timed. The time thing. Oh, Jesus. 27 to 30 we passed. Alright, cool. Dude, it was the being timed thing. Like, got me sweating. Got me sweating a little bit. It also doesn't help that it is hot as hell in this room. So, like, truthfully sweating. Audio transcription. Oh, boy. Agents must be able to accurately transcribe audio coming from unusual sources. Oh no. Besides being able to detect incoming attacks, agents must document what entities say during encounters, as research remains the number one priority. We gotta transcribe. I was gonna do this as a job, so this is gonna... Type into the console what you hear, and press enter when complete. That's what I was going to do as a job, so this is going to read up on some practice. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Do not look behind you. I won't be looking behind me, chief. Don't you worry. You are weak and replaceable. You're weak and replaceable. Thanks, that's what my dad says. Flap, 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 cloudy with the chance of rain. Cloudy with the chance of rain. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. I don't see, 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 see this that often. Is that we don't see this that often? I don't see, 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 see this that often. I don't see this that often. Don't leave me here. Don't leave me here. Get out of my eyes. Get out of my... My eyes or house? Get out of my eyes. Get out of my eyes. Get out of my eyes. Robert, 
something about Robert kill himself. You might help Robert to kill himself. What the fuck? You might help Robert to kill himself. You like when I told Robert to kill himself? I dis I at you. I desire you. Oh, I desire you. Shit, me too. Just kidding, I don't. Please come back. I'm so cold, so cold. Jack, is that you? Oh, st is that stay back? Stay the fuck back. Yep, easy. best cert employee to ever exist all right we got entity 101 before the actual exam left Let's see what happens here entities are otherworldly beings that humans have been encountering for thousands of years for once was a rare sighting entities have begun appearing more rapidly through time this led to the founding of the entity research department the entity research department the RD goal is researching entities to protect the public but more importantly, finding utility in entities, and where they come from. The leading theory of where they come from is backdoors, yet no physical evidence has been found yet. Backdoors through the back rooms. That's S, where you come in. As an agent of ERD you will be conducting highly confidential research missions to explore the gain of function of entities and finding their origin. This brief module will explain how entities are classified and show you the four entities the RD are focusing on in 1992. Uh, 1992. What a entities time that this would have been. But are often given a nickname. Some entities are given a class that link them to a family of entities. Entities are classified in three ways, threat level, containment, and utility each rated by five levels. Entity no. 549 Nickname Shadow People Class, Shadow People Donald Danger Threat Moderate Containment Extreme Utility Significant 
shadow people, or night terrors, torment their prey during nights when there is low visibility, often in bedrooms, this is like when sleep the prey is sleeping, paralyzing their prey during yep. sleep, shadow people will ominously launch from a distance. It isn't known why shadow people choose to kill, as they will often torment the same subject for many years, but when they do, the victim isn't touched. To Have you guys ever, uh, it seemed the subject ever had their sleep, sleep paralysis? The research goal this year is finding out how shadow people choose their prey, and if this can be influenced. If so, E549 could be used in advanced interrogation techniques. Shit, yeah. It's like learning how to weaponize entities. Entity, sleep paralysis would be terrifying, though. Metronic, class, Never machine, experienced. Threat, low. Containment, easy. Utility, moderate. Matronics take the form of animatronics, playful figures Five that appeal to children. Matronics prey on children with no known case of an adult victim. It isn't known where matronics bring their children prey, however, they are never seen again. Matronics, although dangerous, they are easy to terminate and capture. Is this literally the based off of the Five years, Nights lore? Agents of ERD children have been targeted by matronics and have taken 107 to date. The research goal this year is finding why Matronsis are targeting agent children and how to redirect their targeting. Entity E59. Oh, spooky. Skinwalker. Class Doppelganger. Threat severe. Containment moderate. Skinwalkers are spooky. Utility, significant. Spooky thoughts. Skinwalkers are ancient shapa shifters usually taking the form of animals and uncommonly humans, stealing their skin in the process. Skinwalkers are incredibly violent and when killed leave behind nothing but their body vector. Skinwalkers have a hard time replicating the natural movements of creatures they take control of. Skinwalkers can often be identified by unusual eye size or loose skin. The research goal this year is finding a systematic way to My identify skinwalkers 99% of the time and finding out defensive measures that can be taken to prevent loss of possession of body. Entity, E59. Nickname, Great. Oh, fuck. Class, fuck no. off. Threat, moderate. Containment, moderate. Utility, low. After the elimination of the Windigo, a new creature has seemingly taken its place in the Midwest of America and Southern Canada. Humanoid in shape, the rake has varying size limbs but usually conforms to a white pasty color skin. Rakes hunt at night and humans are their favorite prey. Rakes are susceptible yeah, to the non rake fire, is yet are fucking terrifying. And thus hard uh, to shoot. The urban legend or whatever you want to call it. The cause of their resurgence and the correlation after the Windigo eradication. Is there a point of taking out entities, if there is always a bigger fish? Brings a good point. A brief quiz will now begin. Oh no. Everyone, everyone got their glasses on. Begin. Here we go. This is definitely a rake. Matronic. It's the Five Nights crew. <laughs> Mm, shadow people. Oh no, is it gonna try to trick us? That is a rake. Terminate the threat, I guess. Oh, yeah, collect data. Uh, everything. But upwards, I guess. Oh, shit, I don't know. One to three months. We're not doing too hot on this one. No, but you can try. Okay, we can. You have a child, and after watching this training module, you've, risk. you've learned the child. Oh. Uh, we can't do anything. We cannot do anything. Oh, no. We gotta be. <laughs> we didn't do too hot on that one. 
I didn't catch the thing with the shadow people. All right, it is now that time that we take our quiz. We've practiced, we've studied. Now it is time for a comprehensive exam. Someone hold me, I am scared. There's a lot riding on the line here. <laughs> the final exam will now begin. A mixture of content from previous modules. The anxiety is brewing. Begin. Oh shit. Oh no. Did you check the latch? Collect evidence. It's the first step. No threat. Yeah, the one on the right. Okay. Matronic during an, a mission. Even danger. No, collect data. All about the data. You don't look too good. Terminate yourself. Um. B. <laughs> Definitely a threat. <laughs> that was fucking terrifying. The shadow people. Your co worker, who you consider a good friend, seems to be infected by something. You want to save him. Example, which principle? Uh, keep. Oh, we don't keep collecting the data. Well, shit. Are you serious? I don't know. What the fuck? I don't fucking know, man. I don't know what you said. Uh, definitely a threat. Um, observe. We can't give ourselves away. That is a rake. Shadow people. Definitely a threat. Fuck clowns. <laughs> we passed. This HR module is complete. Return to your supervisor for next instructions. Oh. Stop watching before they find you. Well, what if I don't want to? Wow, that was pretty fucking cool. I've never played any of these like uh, analog horrors, but that was actually pretty entertaining. From what I what I know, there's actually a couple of these games by this dev. So if you guys would like to see me play the other ones, um, let me know. I'm more than down to because this was this was cool. I enjoyed it. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I uh, want to do more of this and I enjoy playing horror games and YouTube's the perfect place for me to play my horror games. Also, there's a cat next to me. <laughs> I do stream on Twitch. If you are interested in that, uh, I will leave that linked below as well as a link to this game for you to check out because I would encourage you to play it for yourself because it was, it was interesting. It was a unique experience. Until next time. Bye.